Um, let me ask you about Julian Castro laying off staff in New Hampshire and mm -hmm. South Carolina. So what's he doing instead? And do we have any indication of when he'll file in New Hampshire? Well, we know that the Castro campaign has been uh, feeling the crunch. Remember, he just went through a fundraising push saying that he needed to raise $800,000 by the end of the month last month in order to stay in this race. They reached that goal at the last minute, but his campaign uh, is reshuffling a little bit here to focus on Iowa. And he's not the only one. Kamala Harris uh, laid off her field staff in New Hampshire. She is going all in on Iowa. And that's something that we're seeing this cycle. At this time, candidates and campaigns are trying to reassess where they are, especially with polls coming out, with these debate requirements, uh, with the fundraising requirements to make the debate. Uh, to be able to stay in this race, you have to have money, you have to have the grassroots organizations, and you have to have, um, you know, the poll numbers to get on the debate stage. And so a lot of these candidates are trying to figure out how they can deploy resources to Iowa, because they know Iowa, this cycle, perhaps more than others in recent memory, is really going to play a role in shaping this field. Uh, we have seen in the past other campaigns, John McCain, John Kerry, uh, went through at this period of time similar kind of rebuilding or necessary restructuring, uh, and it ended up paying off for them. Um, so it sometimes is, it works. Sometimes it works, but in this case, there are so many other candidates mm. that it's hard to keep making your case to voters uh, why you don't have these resources and these other campaigns do.